<laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table, going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Browse on fleek, she'll do it for the gram. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, this tutorial is going to be about a notification icon in your tab manager, um, just like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to put one of those on. It looks really, really nice. Um, so, you can put it um, down there, you know, when you connect to your console, if you're connecting an RGH tool or um, you know something like that so yeah stick around hey what's going on guys so like i said in the introduction i'm going to be teaching you how to make a notification icon that pops up in your tab manager now i don't really see much of this but it's a really nice way to um you know show some information of anything whether it's a downloaded string a real bit of data you know whatever um you can pretty much download anything from like a raw like site api anything like that and just have it like throw it back at you with any like message box you know icon anything you really want so i'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open a visual studios project uh make a new project um call it whatever you want i'm just gonna name it that um so you're gonna go ahead and go to your toolbox if a toolbox doesn't show up you want to go to view and then toolbox um, and then you want to search for button just put a button there it doesn't really matter I'm going to be making two examples of this um, notification icon um, so the first one is just going to be raw example and then the second one we're going to be putting it to some use so what you're going to do is you're going to after you put your button in or whatever you, you're going to type in um, no, notify icon and you just want to double click it and it will come down here and then you want to click on this little arrow at the top right hand corner and then choose icon um, you need to have a .ico ico file um, it's basically like a logo um, but just .ico um, so yeah um, there's a lot of websites that you can um, like do .png to .ico so you just want to uh, do that and then choose your ico thing i guess so after you've done that you want to double click on your button and then um, you want to type notify icon one dot show balloon tip and then after that you want to um, make some brackets and the first thing we're going to type is how long it's going to be there for so remember this is always in um, milliseconds um, I think I said that right yeah milliseconds and then so if I type 7000 that's going to be seven seven seconds and then uh, the title so we're just going to put um, hello YouTube and then a uh, string tip text so that's basically like the text in the um, within like the thing so hello YouTube so the title is hello YouTube and then um, uh, like and subscribe okay so after that you want to type tool oh, tooltip icon dot and then whatever thing you want to put um, I'm gonna put info okay so we're gonna build it run our project and then click it and then there you go hello YouTube uh, link and subscribe okay um, <laughs> obviously I can't really spell um, like so that's a bit of a uh, worry um, obviously that was meant to be uh, like and subscribe but whatever um, so yeah it's really simple you can put that to whatever use you want now I'm gonna show you another example of using this but uh, actually putting it to some use so in the last video I did I made a really simple um, Skype resolver so in this we're gonna we're just going to um, we're going to make it so it spits out the IP of the person like you saw in the intro so what we're gonna type is uh, I don't even have a notification icon so you want to remember to add your icon notify icon or whatever um, add your little picture and then notify icon one dot show balloon tip um, okay so 
we're going to have it on the screen for five seconds. Uh, it's going to say successfully res resolved to and then that space. Okay, so the text, is it, we're going to put text box to dot text. So if you remember, or if you were, if you even looked at, um, if you even watched the other tutorial, um, the string uh, pulls the IP from the uh, username with the API, resolves it, and then spits it back out into the text box. So we're just literally getting the text from the text box too, and then putting it into the uh, putting it into the um, tool, the notification thing. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Um, I'm getting an error, I don't know why. Oh yeah, um, just do that. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So let me just grab someone off my Skype list. Uh, let's just do the same guy that I did in the intro. So paste them in there, resolve. So we get the result here and we also get the um, six we resolved to like that. So obviously it looks really nice. I'm on Windows 10. It probably does look different in Windows 7, 8, whatever. Um, but on Windows 10 it looks nice. But then again, everything in Windows 10 looks pretty nice. Um, so yep, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. If you've got any questions, obviously leave them in the comments. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and bye.